Hey guys, it's Gearser. Psych, what is going on guys? It's Cyberhorn92 here. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, subscribe, turn on that post notification, drop a bit fat like, I would appreciate it. And yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, um, usually my content is Monday and Tuesday Fortnite content, usually montages. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday is variety content such as vlogging, reaction, stuff like that. And Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is train card game of Yu-Gi-Oh. So today's th Thursday. Happy Thursday, you guys. It is currently 1.44 in the morning right now, as you guys can tell. Focus for a sec. Okay. So I don't know why I'm still up, but yeah, it's been a while. I make like a, like a real content besides just gaming because I want to like make a variety content. So yeah, as you guys can tell at the title, um, story time. Um, this gonna this story time will be a high school story time that I graduate since 2018. That was like three years ago, so it, it's actually pretty long, but it is what it is. I'm in college right now, in my third year. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get straight to the point of the story time. So yeah, so during senior year, basically senior year is the highlight of. The year you want to celebrate with your friends hang out and chill you know because like we're everyone about to graduate so that's good if anyone is going to be in senior in high school don't forget to comment if so looking forward you guys want to have the great time as much as possible hopefully this pandemic is gone because literally i felt bad for you guys the younger generation as well so that 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 what it is um focus yeah, so senior year was great. I'm hanging out with my friends and just try, try to create memories as much as possible. So yeah, um, you guys know me in high school. I literally rose so many people. I was the myth, the legend, the the, the legendary, the, the king slayer, you know? AKA Ricegum 2.0, you know? That Ricegum say irrelevant. Irrelevant. <laughs> but yeah, anyone that knows me, like I roast people, do not like think I take it serious at the end of the day, just have fun because I really want to create the memories and also I'm like a shy person and I just want to be recognized as much as possible. And at the end, a lot of people actually know about me. If you don't know about me, you're under a rock, you're missing out. But yeah, so uh, end of the year for senior year, I just want to get my grades up, do well, try to get look good on my resume, portfolio, and the very important part that I did is not just like for the grades all that stuff the reason why I did it because I really want to go to grad night you guys don't know what's grad night it's basically anyone anyone that's in, in your senior year literally the highlight of the year get to go to Disneyland so you get your grades up you're able to go and also you gotta have good like good records like no nothing bad no RPC any of that stuff so unfortunately I did have um, an incident that happened I believe that was my sophomore year so I'm gonna talk about that and then after that, I'll tell you guys how I was able to get to go to grad night aka disneyland and california adventure hanging out with the seniors you know but yeah but the requirement is that everyone need to get good grades and good outstanding of their behavior stuff like that yeah so anyone that have that they can make an appeal like why should they go to grad night and what was the reasoning so from there before i'll explain that i just want to explain the situation what exactly happened so sophomore year we have our name tags on in the cafeteria i found my name tag i actually found this girl Girl name tag that I like really like and we actually know each other since high school in seventh grade I can't believe I still remember to today that's crazy and so I found her name tag I grabbed it and then after that I saw her and then I was about to give give it to her and then after that all her friends were looking at me weird and then I just like walked away like 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 it was like super awkward because I cannot handle that stuff because I get shy of girls d d depending you know but yeah so from there we got we were in the same class history I believe so so I was super shocked because we were in the same history class in sophomore year and like I feel like deja vu because like in seventh grade in middle school we literally in the same class in history I was like oh my god this is literally flashback I feel like deja vu and yeah so since middle school she was hitting on me she was flirting I didn't know anything about relationship because like during that time when I was in middle school I was a nerd you know get my grades up it's like in elementary school I wasn't like being active I didn't care about grades and then after that I was actually doing try so hard that like getting the high school that I wanted then I actually got into it and yeah I just got a very high GP at 3.3.7 something that was a high GP like I was like oh man that, that, that's crazy with my disability disorder you guys didn't know um so that can be like future reference I'm pretty sure you guys can dig up my old videos as well so yeah we were in the same 
class and then after that I said oh my god that's, that's pretty cool and we have this like website that is called Schoology or something you can like Boring. It's like a social media and you can talk to the people in that certain category for that certain school And yeah, it's kind of like a mini social media and like it has your classes as well You can talk to people in chat stuff like that And so from there I say okay I know that like the announcement they were saying like formal dance or something like that And out there I said alright alright maybe I'll try to try to get get the get the call Like make the plan try to make it come true if that's possible Cause like I was looking at back in history I said Oh man, I actually really like her. She's actually pretty cool. She's nice to me since seventh grade. Like, was, like she was flirting on me. I'm pretty sure. I still cannot believe I remember to today. So like, I I just have a feeling for her, and like she seemed like pretty cool. I really want to get to know her as well. So I'm not gonna say her name. I'm just gonna say her name is Ashley. But that's not her real name. So Ashley's really chill. So I want to get to know her. Try to take her to the dance. And during that time, I doesn't I don't have Instagram. Like I was curious. Like, has she seen any? one stuff like that then after that i try to get close to her i believe she like left me on red a couple times i say like, oh man this this isn't going anywhere all right and then after that i told her that are you seeing anyone she said she's not seeing anyone and then after that like i don't know what i was thinking because like i usually care like i want to verify if she's not seeing anyone or like she's lying because like i know like girls gonna say oh i don't want to hurt your feelings yeah 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 i totally understand on that part so from there i told my friend i believe one of my friends follow her since then i'm not quite sure to today so i didn't have instagram so i told this other girl that i know she also in the same bus as me so i just say hey i was wondering do you have her social media she do she looked it up and then after i looked through looked through digging a little bit not 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 too deep and then usually people in the bio when whatever they have their caption the bio next to their profile they usually put relationship stuff like that i believe so usually people does that you gotta do that let me know in the comments i'm still new to social media and then after that i did not see anything at all and I say, okay, she's lying. I'm literally exposing her. Damn! Like, like face to face, not like face to face, but like I don't want to like try to hurt her or awkward. So I just contact her through the online Gulaji. And I believe like she was talking to her girls, the, the girl um, that like I heard rumors that she's been talking to a guy softball. I said, ew, that's disgusting. Guys play softball? What? Hello? And I didn't know. I believe softball is like kind of like mini baseball or something like that. I don't know. I don't know a lot about sports. So if so, just let me know in the comments as well. Yeah. And I believe she rejected me a couple of times. Oh, hard. And then after that, I said, oh, man. And then I just exposed her. Hey, you're not seeing anyone. I literally told her that I looked through your social media. I'd say show boyfriend like softball. I believe I like heard it in history class that I said that's disgusting like, like this is all my opinion like no like this was back in the day from there I, I just like got like super like mad like I get rarely mad sometimes depending on what it is and then after that I just like saying some stuff like I know where you live like this the side of the street not like where they exactly but just say the street the car look like stuff like that and then after that she didn't reply back from there and the reason why I said I think like saying, I think she said like, we're just gonna be friends. I knew it was like not good, and then now to today, like people say just friends, but te technically friend zone. So that is not the greatest thing at all. Uh, that this is all my opinion. I'm just saying from there, she didn't respond back. I say okay. The next day after PE class, I got called out. The student called my name. I said okay, well, what's going on? And then I got sent to the principal. Then no, the dean. The dean reported that like I technically cyber bully this person and it was like really awful like I still like like felt bad for her because like when I say sorry and then she did accept it but like, I don't know she like took it as a nice way to accept it but it is what it is so I got reported I got RPC yeah I got RPC I got in trouble the dean literally read word for word um somebody reported anonymously and I say oh man RPC isn't a great thing at all because like once that happened uh, you're basically screwed and it's kind of embarrassing as well so after that i was grabbing my stuff was in web design from there yeah yeah, yeah. i was in web design then the student aid, uh, pulled me back again and then after that i literally had to carry my stuff and yeah and then after that i was literally crying like i say oh my gosh i can't believe i got in trouble it's been a while and uh, from there i literally could not go to my next class because i got rpc i literally like had to go home so i couldn't get a ride and 
and yeah, so I had to walk home, and then I was just like start crying from there. Then all my schedule like literally been messed up as well, cause like I had to change classes, different schedule. So basically, we can no longer have the same class that the girl I cyberbully her from there. I think that was it. Uh, my parent, my father came in, talked about it, a translator, talked about my other point of view, and then Aaron got sorted out. Um, Dean was chill. Uh, he gave me a chance. Then after that, I just got a new schedule. And then after that, yeah. Junior year, I tried to stay away as far as possible from her. Senior year, we were literally in the same class. I said, oh my gosh, I cannot be in the same class. I literally contact my disability combination. Uh, told him that, hey, I was wondering, can I get my schedule changed? Just one girl that I cyberbully releasing my class and it's the funny thing is literally history three times seventh grade sophomore year and then senior year i was like oh my god i cannot ruin that so i say okay i got a uh, schedule got placed into a different history teacher i think it's history or geography it's one of those two i'm not really good with history just, just saying you guys and then after that from there i got the classes that i want nothing minor change just only a couple class different order different teacher and then after that yeah and then about the grad night, I got my grades up because like literally I knew I like was literally prepared for a junior year that like get my grades up like grad night is literally the highlight because I say screw prom, screw winter dance, all that stuff because like I don't care about that stuff. I just want to go to grad night. I never been to Disneyland or Disneyland California Adventure. I love theme park. I don't know you guys know about me. I love theme park. They're really fun and I just want to have a great time. Like I feel like grad night was literally the best better than probably prom and winter dance. This is my opinion by the way just saying. So so from there, I had to make an appeal. What was the reasoning? And I just say that hey, I got good grades. My behavior changed since then. Since sophomore year compared to now, I'm a student aide. The whole faculty know me. Everyone know I'm a nice person. I know that one incident, people gonna brought it up. Oh, you can't go. Like there were. I would, I was in senior year, I was in this math class, I think it's personal finance or something like that. That class was like, I didn't like it. You guys let me know you guys took personal finance. I didn't like that at all. It's good like future, like money, like like interest rates, stuff like that. So I was next to this guy uh, with glasses. I'm not going to say his name. I'm going to call him Mr. Hamburger. So he think he's so smart and stuff like that. I believe he was engineering and also automotive. It's one, one of those two. I don't remember, but don't really care. And after that, I was talking to people. I'm um, just curious i want to hear people point of view i just asked people hey do you guys think i will be able to go to grad night i mean appeal people say no 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 you won't highly unlikely and then after i say why is that he's like i just want to make some discussion just like curious i want to see what are my ratio of going to this wonderful grad night literally the highlight of the year and have a great time because like you get that one opportunity and i just want it and yeah so uh, mr hamburger saying that like there's no highly unlikely you did that incident everyone know about the whole school know about it and and then after that, I say dang, like, like I say dang it. I just like let myself down for a bit. And then after that, like maybe five minutes later, I say, no, I think I'm probably gonna make it. Cause like, I believe myself and I believe the appeal, stuff like that. And I made the appeal like so good. I forgot what was it? Like literally, I just say like, I got my grades up. I got like, I'm like a different person. Like, like I'm not the person th that I used to be since sophomore year that I cyber bullied that one person. So we made an argument. And then after that, he said, oh, I'm smarter than you. I'm like two steps ahead of you. And then after that, I say, all right, we'll see, we'll see. And somehow I wanted to bait. And then he didn't say anything. I say, Mr. Hamburger, do you have a response? Do you have a response? And then everyone like in math class was looking at me. And then after that, this girl, um, I'm not gonna say her name as well. She was actually really nice. I'm gonna call her Daisy. Daisy. Daisy was like surprised. She said, dang. She said like 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 call my name. But I'm not gonna say my name. Like she said, dang, Cyber, you actually rose. And everyone was like surprised, shocked. It was literally the bell ring, and like it was like perfect timing. It was so funny. I I wish I had that video. Oh my gosh. I won the biggest debate ever and it was like ridiculous so my plan was that um i talked to one of my web design friends saying that is this a good idea should i do this to, to boost my um, um boost my ability to like able to get to um to get to go to grand night so basically my plan was that tell everyone that i know sign up petition i'm able to go to grand night the, the reason i told everyone that i know because like pe i just want to know people that know me that like i'm a good person not a bad person so i have a good higher percent rate so like basically like the more people that sign the petition like i'm a good person then i have more so basically i can like provide evidence there's not like many evidence but like uh, someone like the people that i know everyone in like web design sign even teachers too like all the faculty as well 
Older, like, my friends, like, the people I know in my class or weren't in my class literally know me, signed. They were like, you guys are, like, the real deal. And I gave the dean, um, the, the, the petition that, like, signed. And I believe I got, like, maybe 30 or 40 people, I believe so. I don't know. But that's a lot. It took me a couple of days. And then the dean, the whole faculty will make a discussion on it. And then after that, um, my name got pulled up. I believe it was a couple of days before grad night. And then after that, I said, oh my gosh, either I get accepted or rejected. If we go to grad night, I got, my name was called up to the dean. The dean said how I'm doing. And then after that, I said, I'm good. This is a discussion about the grad night. I get super nervous because like I said, oh man, I don't know. I believe myself. And then he said, congrats. You're able to go grad night. I said, let's go, you know? And then after that, like, I literally got super excited. Like, it all pays off. Like, I feel like, I don't think that wasn't just luck because like I planned this thing I like that was my plan like get as like a huge advantage as possible not like take over but like 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 a good appeal I can win that debate so I literally destroyed Mr. Hamburger proved that I able to go to grad night I rose him so so hard that, that like I won the biggest discussion ever I can't believe it like oh my gosh I, I wish you guys were there it was like a hilarious thing grad night was fun we were able to go and we came back like maybe uh, two or three in the morning or something like that seven in the morning and yeah it was a blast it was definitely worth it the price was kind of pricey but it was worth it i would never remember that day that like i say oh my gosh i literally destroyed this person like i said oh my gosh like i'm not losing this i'm not i'm not taking no l you know i take i take a massive w you know and uh, yeah just in case like like basically this video is like lesson that like believe in yourself don't listen to anyone any day no one doesn't know you besides you do because they don't know anything about you um it's possible like some people do get to know you but they don't know the whole story about you and yeah i would just say thank you for everyone that support me you guys know like without you guys maybe i might not be able to go to grad night or maybe i do like i was a student aide as well because the whole faculty the whole teachers they know me and it was a blast like if you guys have that opportunity to go to grad night please go to grad night that's my opinion disneyland california adventure or any theme park like around your state you have to go you have to go that's literally one of my favorite part and i think that's all from there and senior year was pretty good and yeah you guys made a video all the way to the end. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, turn on that post notification. If you guys have any comments, put in the comments below. I would love to read them. And if you guys want to send any fan mail as well, I'll put it in the description or in the video, like right here, right here. And yeah, all right. I think that's all I can think of top of my head, you guys. And yeah, your boy, Cyberhorn92, is signing out. Peace.